Welcome to episode 2 of Little Rock Ridge. If you're some sort of psychopath who skipped episode 1, then to recap, we are building a western mini park without any DLC or TMTK. Each episode will also be featuring a special guest. How exciting! This week I will be building the park entrance and car park. Unlike in Worthington Farms, I won't be going nuts with the exterior as to save some piece count for the park itself. I started off by using the painted plank walls to build the initial structure. To stop the silly folk from walking through walls, I placed down some barriers. For the upper level, I used painted batten walls for some immense contrast. Much like the building across the way, I topped it off with the corrugated metal roofing. I decided to create a kind of balcony platform where entertainers can stand and greet guests without getting too close to all the grubby children. I used wood platforms and wooden railings. For access, I would normally have used something a bit more industrial, however this flimsy set of wooden steps will have to do instead. Next I created some wooden decking using, well, wooden decking, and popped a water tank on top. After playing around with sight lines, I decided to raise the building up slightly before adding some animatronics and a staff room to the balcony. I used more decking to cover up the path before plopping down our entertainer, Miss Ellie. As far as I'm aware, she can't walk through walls, so I added a door, followed by some windows. Time for a decorating frenzy with a bunch of western props. I'm well aware you've probably been absolutely dying to know what the water tower was for. Well, it's to become a snazzy little water feature for a large pond. I wanted some separation between the park and car park without just placing down some boring fencing, so went with some terrain adjustments instead.
Whilst I spend far too long playing Sandbox, let me just remind you that there's a Discord you can join, you can follow me on Instagram and Reddit, as well as become a patron of the channel, giving you early access to my videos by a whole week. Goodness. You'll find all the links in the description of every video. For the edge of this decking I would normally use Hydro's plaster walls, however instead I used the back side of a castle window, not the best for piece count but certainly does the trick. For the foliage I wanted to go with trees that have the western feel but could also conceivably be grown in climates like the UK. Bushes are a great way to hide sightlines from peep level. There's nothing more immersion breaking than seeing the empty nothingness outside of a planet coaster park. I felt like there would be some sort of backstage storage area by the entrance, so I reused our plank fences to cordon off this area here. It was at this point that I realised how little backstage clutter there was in the base game, but no matter. It's very unlikely our water tank would be functioning, so I connected it via a pipe to the main building where all of the modern industrial pumps would be hidden. I added some speakers to the main entrance and whacked on some western music. Moving on to the car park, I started off by painting a rough layout with terrain paint. I created a service road to link the car park and the park itself. Next, I used art shapes as the markings. I created some yellow hatched areas where vehicles are not allowed to park. 
If they do, I'll come and slap them, the cars and the owners. I then fenced off the rest of the car park before adding some more terrain paints. I made a vehicle entrance gate using the fairy tale cornerstones, wooden columns, pillars and hazard strips. From one gate to another, I made a large service gate using the balcony base pieces and more columns. I added some wear and tear to the car park with various intensity paints. Time for some lighting. I used the standard street lamps but doubled them up and scattered them across the car park. I then used a bunch of event lights to illuminate the water tower and trees. For the entrance I popped down some iron lamps on the balcony and hung some oil lamps on some beams beneath. For a final last touch, I built some cages to go around our exterior lights. With my work here done, it's time for this week's guest. The astute amongst you might be saying, hold on a cotton picking minute, Plastic Swans wasn't in the teaser trailer. You're correct, but you didn't think I wouldn't throw some surprise names into the mix, right? Plastic Swans is yet another successful YouTuber with over 3,000 subscribers, creating content for Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, and more. She's been tasked with creating a Just a Memento gift shop, and boy did she deliver. 
over to Plastic Swans to talk us through her build. Hi there, I'm Plastic Swans and I'm a YouTuber developing creative builds in games such as Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster. Now, this is my contribution to the Little Rock Ridge theme park. So, Moomin set me the challenge of building a shop and it had to be within a 4x5 grid area. Now, <laughs> it needed to be a western theme, of course. And the scariest part was no DLC, no TMTK or custom assets. So yeah, that was quite challenging when you're a creator that's used to using the DLC pieces. But I figured I was up to the challenge, so here it is. So for my shop, I decided to make a just a memento gift shop. And what I was going for with this was to create something that looked a little bit like a Western general store. So I've set this up to be two little Western style buildings that have been knocked through to form one shop. My influence for this build is 100% Red Dead Redemption. I absolutely love Red Dead Redemption and GTA as well, in fact. And I absolutely love how in those games, there's so much work and attention to detail gone into developing the environment. A top tip of mine is using these types of games as inspiration. So this first building with the wraparound balcony, this is loosely based on the Red Dead General Store in Armadillo. And the second building here with the red trim, this was based on a shop front in Blackwater. Now, I wanted these to look like authentic wooden Western buildings. So I've gone heavy on the wood pieces throughout the build. I was a bit worried about the no DLC thing since I rely heavily on packs like the Adventure Pack and the Spooky Pack for all the nice little wood pieces in those DLCs. However, it turns out there's quite an extensive range of wood scenery pieces in the base game if you get a little creative with it. So to pull this build together, I've used pieces where maybe they're not intended to be used. For example, a lot of the walls in this build are made from things that aren't walls. So like this wood wall on the green building here, that's actually made from the base game barn door. I find when you use pieces for things that they're not intended for, it kind of adds a little customization and it can help bring a build like this to life. Anyway, so yeah, this is my Western themed gift shop. It took about 12 hours to build in total. So a nice little project that I really enjoyed building and I hope everyone likes it and it fits in well with the rest of the park. Thanks Plastic Swans. What a wonderful little build. Next week, I'll be working on some backstage areas and Nerd Chacho will be bringing in our very first coaster. I can't wait. See you then. Say goodbye, Plastic Swans. Bye for now.